Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video and this is for the Bramble Fox Challenge over at the Bramble Fox and Friends Facebook group and it is all about mixed media, which I love getting messy. Now, I haven't got too many project products from them. I had a little box of goodies come in last month and I did last month's challenge. But this month, um, it, I believe if you're subscribed to their newsletter, um, we got a free cut file. This was called Bookworm and it had that super cute um, book opening up cut file and the words Bookworm. So um, I'm hoping that counts as using their product because because that's what I used from them. <laughs> the other parts I used was the the super duper cute Head in the Clouds by Chamel. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has been hoarding the last of her collections. But then the new one come out. So now I'm like, well, maybe I could use up what I have. So, um, so yeah, this is a definite um, whimsical fun one from a while ago. I knew, I knew I had to make the book out of that fun book paper. Um, and because this was the mix of media challenge, I went ahead and grabbed my Distress Oxide inks and some stencils. I'm dying to put in an order for the Bramble Fox stencils, so I think I'm going to treat myself to those um, later this month. It, it's definitely a little more because they're um, not a United States. They don't ship from United States. So, um, so yes, I have to make my purchases very carefully. Um, but yeah, I definitely have my eye on some things. And uh, I love the cut file. So for this, I did three separate sections. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do at first. So I just love to get messy. So I put a little bit of ink down with the pet packaging technique. Um, if I remember correctly, that is spun sugar, shaded lilac, and villainous potion um so yes so i laid that down and i let that dry completely this is on a vicky Booten's foundation paper i highly recommend it if you like to get messy and use a lot of water on your backgrounds so i let that dry well I helped it I helped it with my heat tool not gonna lie and then I, I save as much as I remember to um, the manuscript or the manuscript the manufactured strips and this one particular had the alphabet so I knew I knew I wanted to use that one and then I found a few others I think that worked nicely and this was not that long ago. We went to New York City for fall break. And um, I had a proud mama moment, right? My little reading right there in the middle of Manhattan. In the their library. <laughs> my little is reading away. Um, of course, my husband wasn't, but that's okay. I'm sure he was trying to... Uh, <laughs> Look up how the heck we get back to our hotel. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad that he was in charge of that. There was no way I could have figured out the subway. <laughs> anyway, I add the strips at the bottom. My title, which is the NYC Bookworm. And, and I pop up the book and the worm. And definitely make sure you use liquid adhesive when you're gluing on to mixed media projects it's just yeah it's just gonna stay a lot better 
and I popped up my cut file again. I think it is an absolute adorable one. Um, and I'm so glad I had enough of that book paper, <laughs> pattern paper to use. I just kind of tucked it in between the pages. Um, and I really, I really like how it turned out. It was a lot of fun. And I almost, I almost forgot my second part of my mixed media, which is to do some stenciling. So I did some tone on tone stenciling with those stars. That is a Vicky Booten stencil. Um, so I used the same colors um, and I just did the sponge sugar and the shaded lilac not much of the villainous potion is really um, seen and I didn't want to try to squeeze in that stencil um, because I thought the dark the dark purple was plenty there was definite definitely enough going on at the bottom I didn't feel I was um, it was lacking anything so so that was fun. I still have some of the sticker book and those puffy stickers. I don't have a lot at all, but um, I'm so glad I made this work. And it, it took me a minute, yeah, it took me a minute to um, figure out what I wanted to do. I know um, since my bottom half is heavy, I definitely wanted to put something on the top. And um, I don't know if you remember this collection. I mean, of course you remember this collection. It was so fun. Um, but it, it <laughs> here's my little, oh, Joshua. But I loved it had these constellations um, and dragons and had mermaids, but I didn't use any mermaids. Um, but yes, that page, oh my gosh, I love those constellations out of the unicorns and dragons. I thought they were so much fun. So I definitely added those. Um, there was also, a I, I want to say rose gold, but I'm not sure what it was. Um, a few things were accented with that rose gold, but... Um, but I didn't use very much, but I, I did grab a few things from the uh, foam sticker page. So yeah, I'm just having a good time adding all the little things, the puffy stickers, um, some stickers from the book, making a couple of little clusters. Um, it's amazing how many you get in a collection because I felt like I was just adding and adding <laughs> and I wasn't running out I used some of that um, uh, blue that light blue um, in the sticker book there was a whole page of those little stars so I scattered those around I scattered a few cameras around and then I definitely scattered those super cute puffy hearts. And I am so proud of myself. The last thing I did um, was to add the date. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. If I know the date, I'm trying to add it. Um, there was a little bit of me that thought I could definitely do some journaling on that right on that right side of where my little guy's sitting. In between that, I probably could have added um, a label or a tag or something for some journaling, but um, but I didn't. I know. I know. Boo! It's just not my jam right now, and it hasn't been... But when I look at old things and I think, and you know, I'm so happy that I jot down just a few things, but this page was starting to get a little busy. So I stopped. I stopped when I did. 
And here comes my date. I love, love making my own background pages. And this definitely inspired me to do so. Um, so thank you so much for watching. There's some final pictures. I hope you're well. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.